Hey guys, so I cannot believe that I have not done a video on this topic before because it's like got to be one of the top five fears that people have when it comes to getting removable dentures and that is, can my teeth fly out of my mouth? Is that just like a comedy sketch? Is that like a TV trope? Is that an urban legend? Does that actually happen? Is it a thing? It's a thing and it happened to me. So I'm gonna be going over all of the different scenarios that could potentially cause your teeth to fly out of your mouth, what causes that to happen, how you can prevent it, and what to do in the aftermath should that happen to you. And today's video is sponsored by Ivoclar Vivadent. If you don't know who Ivoclar is, they are a dental manufacturing company that produces products that dental professionals use to treat patients like us, such as the teeth that I have here, and I'll link a video up here of Amy who also got the same teeth that I got, but hers were in removable dentures. If you wanna learn more about Ivoclar, their link is in the description box. It's www.morethanadenture.com. I forgot that this even happened. I was digging through the vault of my old YouTube videos and I did have an experience where my teeth flew out of my mouth. It was Sunday morning. I was rushing around trying to get four kids ready for church. I'm sure you can imagine how that goes. And I was getting super frustrated and I hollered out at my oldest son. I think he was messing around or he was, I don't know, he wasn't doing what he was supposed to do. And I hollered out like quickly without even thinking and they flew out, but I caught them because I have amazing reflexes, but that could have ended badly. Like if they would have actually flown out and hit the floor, that could have been a disaster. It could have cracked them. I've heard experiences from people where they have dropped their dentures or they have flown out of their mouth and they've been cracked. It's a situation that all of us would like to avoid. So I want to discuss how does that happen? Why is that even a thing? So I'm gonna go through some of the scenarios that could potentially lead to you maybe losing your dentures. Swimming, um, yeah, we got summer right around the corner and swimming, not so much just swimming in a pool. I mean, if your mouth is all open and you got water coming in there, obviously that could dislodge the dentures, but hopefully you're not doing that. But I think about like when I go to the beach, I'm in Florida, and sometimes the waves get really rough there. And if you're getting smashed in the face by a wave, like I don't know if any of you have ever had the unfortunate experience of being like taken under by a really crazy wave and you're like tossing around, you could lose your dentures that way. And that would really not be good because you're at the beach and if you lose them in the water and don't quickly retrieve them, they could be actually gone. Any kind of activity that is like, you know, very physical, like extreme sports, obviously, like you have to think about about, you know, things that could impact your mouth or things that could cause you to manipulate your mouth in a way that you don't usually manipulate it. I don't think in just regular conversation, the risk is really there of them flying out. It's when you do like those sudden, like, you know, bursts of laughter or, um, you know, yelling like I did, coughing, sneezing, vomiting, you know, the force behind vomiting, you could lose them that way. Again, rapid head movements, like turning your head quickly, your mouth is open, they could fly out. Roller coasters, I'm not sure if you guys saw the video that was floating around on social media of a man that was on a roller coaster and he was yelling in excitement and whew, there they go. Like less common reasons, like extreme weather, like teeth chattering. Like, have you ever been so cold that your teeth are just chattering rapidly? I mean, that could dislodge your dentures. Sticky food, things that, you know, get stuck to your denture, like sticky caramel or um, taffy, things like that. Hard candy and hard foods. Um, I've shared this experience many times on my channel. When I went to Gatlinburg, we stopped at like a street vendor and we got sausage dogs. Like I love sausage dogs and I like I'm loaded with everything, put it all on there. And so it's like huge. It was on like a hoagie roll or something. And I bit into it and it teetered my denture. Like I had adhesive on, it dislodged the denture. It kind of like broke the barrier of the adhesive and they teeter tottered. They didn't come out or anything, but like I can imagine a scenario where I do that, they dislodge, I pull this big hoagie roll out of my mouth and they could come out with it. So, I mean, those are, it's not common. It's not like it, this, this is rare. So I had removable dentures for two years and I'm pretty sure that that was the one time that they flew out and certain conditions have to be met before they can just randomly fly out of your mouth. For one, poor fitting dentures, you are at risk of them going airborne. It is what it is. And I'm pretty sure that that's what happened when mine flew out of my mouth. Um, when they start getting loose, 
it, they're not molding to your mouth the way that they should. So there's all these air pockets. You could put adhesive on and maybe it'll keep them in, but depending on how loose they are, sometimes it, adhesive just isn't enough. It's not gonna do its job the way that it would if the denture was fitting properly. So that's why I'm always stressing when you lose your teeth, you're not done with dentists, especially if you get immediate dentures. Those are the ones where you go in, you get the extractions, you leave with dentures in your mouth. You have to be prepared for them to get loose. And it seems impossible. It seems impossible at the time, especially to a new denture wearer, because when you first get them, you're gonna feel like you have hockey pucks in your mouth. They're gonna feel huge. For me, at least, it was hard to get them out because of all the swelling, you know? They were just kind of lodged in there, no adhesive, anything. Like, I had to pry them out. It was kind of a trippy experience or whatever, but then that starts to all settle down and then they will get loose. They will get loose. You have to go back to the dentist probably several times for different adjustments and relines. That's what's going to keep your dentures fitting properly. So you're minimizing the risk of them flying out. General wear and tear of your dentures can warp them. It just, it can. Just using them day in and day out, they're not meant to last forever. So you need to be getting those regular checkups to make sure that your dentures are still functioning the way that they're supposed to function. They're not warped. One of the things that can warp them is they should not be dry. You should not just set your dentures on a counter it's going to dry them out. They they will eventually change shape. They've got to be soaking in something when they're not in your mouth. Applying too much adhesive can do it too because if you if you overdo it with adhesive, I know you're probably thinking like, oh, if I just like pile all the adhesive on there, it's just gonna give it this extra hold and that's counterintuitive because it's going to make it squishy. It's gonna make it spongy. It's not gonna stick as good. I mean, you can think of it like in terms of using actual glue. Like when you use actual, like just the paste that kids use in school, the more you use, the more spongy it gets. It's not gonna create that firm hold that you get when you use you know, a thin layer. That's how you have to think about adhesive if you're using adhesive, don't overdo it. But then sometimes, unfortunately, just the dentures being dentures made of acrylic is enough to put you at risk of them flying out of your mouth. They're slick. This is why dentists really stress so much when you're cleaning them to be very mindful of how close you hold them to the sink. Like don't hold them way up here. I mean, you're using different types of soaps and pastes and stuff that make them even more slippery than they already are. Like they're just, they're slick and they're supposed to be. One of the things that kind of helps with that part of it is when you have those temporary liners. When you have temporary liners, it, it changes like the texture of the surface of the denture. It's not just slick to where it's gonna slip and slide out of your mouth, if that makes sense. Now, if your denture flies out of your mouth, it's not really the end of the world. I know, I know, like for me, I was at home, I wasn't out in public, I was in my kitchen, I caught them, nobody saw. I quickly, like, I caught them and I shoved them back in my mouth and I looked around to see if my husband was anywhere and he wasn't and he didn't see it. That man on the roller coaster, I mean, he went viral. They flew out of his mouth. In those situations, you have to think of it like this. We're not gonna be able to prevent all embarrassment. It's not just your teeth. Like, I know that that's a big fear. I know it's horrifying to think about, but there are so many other things that could possibly happen that are way more embarrassing than that. There's so many different things that could happen that could embarrass you. And I'm not trying to make you have more anxiety. I'm just trying to tell you not to fixate on this one thing that could possibly happen, but most likely isn't gonna happen. And if it does, it isn't the end of the world. And the best way you can mitigate embarrassment is just by laughing with it. And I know how hard that is for some people. Some people just have different personalities. The things that should embarrass me don't really, and I laugh them off. It's other things like being spotted in brand new tennis shoes. Like, whoa, did you go to the store and get a new pair of shoes today? Like stupid stuff. So we're all different. And I get that it's really hard for some people to play down embarrassment. But even if you have to fake it in that moment, laughing it off is the best way. And people just forget. They just, they do. They don't think about us the way that you think that they think about us. Um, they just move on. and. 
it it happens it's life if you do lose your dentures and they fall onto the floor of course you're going to want to inspect them go to the bathroom wash them off make sure that they're okay check them for cracks or anything and then of course if you did crack anything you definitely want to schedule an appointment with your dentist to see what kind of repairs can be made um, if any so aside from using humor to diffuse embarrassing situations one of the things that i like to do is just make sure that i've got a tight community of people that i can share those stories with that you know can kind of make me feel better like hey don't worry it happens to the best of us there's tons of communities on facebook where you know they, you can share your experience there with people who can relate and let you know that hey it sucks that it happened but it's not the end of the world and you're gonna get by i know that this isn't what anybody wanted to hear i know that everybody wanted to hear no that's not ever going to happen there's a chance that it could happen but the chance is low and if you at least know what to look out for know what certain scenarios can lead to the dentures flying out how you can prevent it everybody knows an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of the cure. Share your story. Have you ever lost your dentures? Have they flown out of your mouth? What? How did you navigate the situation? Did you laugh it off? Was it horrifying? Did people say anything about it? Leave a comment below so that we can relate experiences so that we can help kind of minimize this fear for people who are really anxious about it. So that's it for today. If you like this video, make sure that you give it a like. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already and click that little bell so that you get notifications when I post a video so you don't miss anything. I've got more great content in the pipeline, ready to put that out soon. You can follow me online. I'm Callen Jacks on Instagram and Christy Callen Jacks Lind on Facebook. I wear dentures on Facebook and I will see you guys again next time and y'all take care.